Bridge City neighbors are frightened and fed up. They and local leaders are renewing their call that the state close the facility there, but so far no definitive word that it will happen. WGNO's LBJ is in Bridge City tonight and spoke with some neighbors there. LB. Yeah, Curtin Susie, of course, the facility over my shoulder, the Bridge City facility, uh, in the news a whole lot in the past year, several escapes. In fact, there was a fight there about a month ago with 20 of the juveniles uh, fighting and a couple of injuries there. One of the juveniles, one of the youth were injured, as well as one of the staff members. Uh, yesterday's incident was a, was a bit different, actually started overnight Saturday night. It involved six juveniles escaping, five of which were apprehended shortly afterward, and a 17-year-old who's accused of stealing two vehicles and shooting at a man or shooting a man during a carjacking uptown. That incident ended with state police chase on St. Bernard Avenue yesterday afternoon. The people who live near this facility say they've noticed increased security, but that's not preventing the escapes. It seems like, you know, even with the added security, man, they can't do anything about it. I mean, we got state troopers riding around the neighborhood day and night. Jefferson Paris, you know, sitting back here day and night and these kids are still getting out. So, I mean, it's not the security problem because they don't worry, they're not worrying about that. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess they want to get out and when they, there's, a, there's a way to get out and they didn't find a way to get out and they just keep getting out. So that resident, Terrence Fiesel, provided us with this video of last month's incidents where the escapees came through his yard, saying he fears that sooner or later someone in the neighborhood will get hurt like le yesterday's carjacking victim who is now listed in stable condition. The councilman for this area is Dino Bonanno, who's on the Jefferson Parish Council. And we spoke with him this afternoon. He was traveling, but he told us, quote, and he wanted us to quote this. He says the state now has blood on its hands because we told them it wasn't a case of if but when one of the escapees would hurt someone yesterday that happened. We also reached out to the state police and OJJ who promised to get us a statement by uh, showtime and we still haven't heard from those folks. Susie? Kurt? And as we recall, LB, the governor's office uh, put in the extra security. Governor hasn't said anything about this latest escape either. Governors hadn't said a word. In fact, uh, the state police told us they were waiting to speak with the governor's office before they gave us a statement today and we haven't heard anything from the governor's office either. Okay, thank you, LB.